The Royal Navy has commissioned HMS Agamemnon, the sixth astute-class nuclear-powered attack submarine, adding another frontline boat to the UK's main undersea strike and hunting force. Astute-class submarines are built for the missions that matter most in a high-end fight, tracking enemy submarines, gathering intelligence, and delivering long-range precision strikes. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at the Astute class, what it was built to do, what it can do in practice, and why it matters right now. Let's dive in. The Astute class was designed as the Royal Navy's next generation of nuclear-powered attack submarines, built to take over the core SSN workload from the older Trafalgar-class boats. The UK's official submarine overview describes Astute as a seven-boat class. In practical terms, the design goal is a submarine that can do three things at once. Stay hidden for long periods, build an accurate underwater picture using advanced sonar, and deliver effects at range, either by torpedo or by land attack cruise missile. That stealth plus reach combination is why Astute is treated as a frontline tool for both national missions and NATO operations. On basic size and displacement, the UK government's published figures put Astute at 97 meters long with a displacement of 7,400 tons. That matters because it places the class in the heavy end of SSNs globally with enough volume for a serious sensor fit, weapons stowage, and sustained patrol endurance. Astute submarines are nuclear-powered, using a pressurized water reactor, and the official UK description emphasizes what that translates to operationally, extreme endurance and freedom of movement. The same document notes they can produce their own oxygen and drinking water, and can circumnavigate the globe completely submerged. In other words, the limiting factor is not fuel, it's food and crew endurance. The same official overview also highlights a shift in how the submarine looks above the surface. Astute is described as the first UK class to use high-specification video technology to scan the horizon rather than a traditional optical periscope. That change is easy to overlook, but it connects directly to survivability, because reducing exposure time and improving detection and identification helps the boat stay harder to find. This is also why Astute remains relevant even as threats evolve. A modern SSN's job is not only to sprint or shoot, it's to sit in the right patch of ocean for a very long time, quietly collecting cues, tailing contacts, and waiting for the moment a commander needs a weapon or simply needs to know what is moving where. Astute's edge starts with its sonar suite. The UK government description doesn't publish a full sensor list, but it does explicitly characterize Astute as fitted with advanced sonar. On the specific system that underpins the fleet, Thales describes Sonar 2076 as the Royal Navy's sovereign sonar system and links it directly to the stealth, intelligence, and lethality of the UK submarine force. Thales' own overview also stresses that 2076 has been continuously enhanced over decades, reflecting the reality that underwater advantage is not just hardware, it's software upgrades, processing, and integrating what the boat learns into better tactics. What that means in real operations is simple. If you can detect first, classify first, and track more confidently in difficult acoustic conditions, you control the engagement geometry. That's the foundation of anti-submarine warfare, and it's also the foundation of intelligence missions, because the best intelligence often comes from being present without being detected. The UK's official description is very clear on the headline, Weapons. Astute class boats carry spearfish torpedoes and can deliver Tomahawk land attack cruise missile capability. That pairing matters because it gives the submarine both undersea kill and land strike options without changing platform. 
From a mission point of view, that makes Astute a flexible tool in three common scenarios. First, it can hunt submarines and surface ships, where heavyweight torpedoes remain the decisive weapon. Second, it can support wider maritime operations by collecting targeting and situational awareness that other forces plug into. Third, it can contribute to deep strike options against fixed targets on land with Tomahawk, which is a very different political and military signal than an airstrike, because it's launched from a platform designed to stay unseen. The best way to think about Astute is not as a single weapon, but as a survivable delivery and sensing system. The weapons are what you see on paper. The real value is that the platform can get close enough, quietly enough, to make those weapons and sensors matter in the first place. With HMS Agamemnon now commissioned and one final astute boat still to deliver, the astute class will carry the UK's attack submarine force until SSN AUKUS starts entering service. UK government planning is clear that SSN AUKUS is meant to replace astute in the late 2030s, which means astute is not a stopgap. It's the Royal Navy's main frontline SSN capability for the next decade and beyond. That matters for NATO too. UK statements describe astute as supporting national, NATO, and coalition missions, including under ice operations and worldwide deployments. And with undersea infrastructure and submarine activity back in focus, a capable SSN fleet gives the UK options that are difficult to replicate any other way. Astute class submarines are built around one idea, stay hidden, understand the underwater battle space faster than the other side, and hold targets at risk from the sea. With HMS Agamemnon now commissioned, that force is getting closer to its full planned strength, and that has real weight for the UK and NATO in the undersea domain. So, what do you think? Is the Astute class still the benchmark among NATO's attack submarines, or would you put Virginia or Suffren ahead of it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analysis.